Today is day five of our trip into Naganosh Provincial Park. So yeah, right now, woke up and red sky in the morning. Um, the wind's already starting to pick up and Derek had to look at the, the weather. He's got a, a Garmin in reach. Looks like the weather's gonna take a turn for the worse and they're calling for some uh, thunderstorms some rain starting later this afternoon, but uh, then thunderstorms coming uh, tonight and then continuing overnight and into tomorrow. So yeah, we're not quite sure what we're gonna do yet. Um, we both feel the same that we don't really wanna stay just to spend the last day in the rain, but we've decided that we're gonna uh, start heading north out of the park and look for a campsite. We've got a couple uh, on the map that we're interested in and uh, we'll just, you know, play it by ear. So yeah, that's the plan.
probably won't be able to get it on video because of the distance. It, and they, they're pretty skittish. But yeah, no, cool. I'll try. We'll see.
far as this? Four seconds. Okay, well, we're back to Astonero's to put in or take out point. We decided to end the trip a day short. Heat. Yeah. Weather forecast. It's hot. It's going to rain all day today, all night tomorrow. Thunder. We're done. Yeah. Yeah. And like, it's definitely. Before making that decision, we were wondering if we would continue, like we were talking about it last night, but then, yeah, like it's really hot and muggy and the, it's overcast now. And so, yeah, definitely the storm's gonna come. There's no question. Yeah, like you said, to stay one more night for one campfire. Right. It's not worth it. That we might not have because it might be thunder and yeah. <laughs> storm, you know, so. And paddling out in a thunderstorm right. tomorrow. Yeah, so, but yeah, so what'd you think of the, Naganosh. Amazing. Yeah. Like even on the way out today, continued to amaze me. Right? You saw we were within I'd say what fifty meters of that heron. Yeah. Or less. Yeah. Two moose. Two moose. Cow and a calf. Yep, calf, yeah. And then a bear. Yeah. Didn't get any footage of the bear, I apologize, but we were what's the lake this one? Uh Kawigamog. Kawigamog. It was windy. Yeah, and it was super windy. We were in a wide area and battling the wind and chop and everything and then saw the bear so was not about to start playing with the camera at that point but it's yeah. cool to see him walking along the shore though yeah, yeah. he was really black yeah he, he was like a yearling or so yeah that's what i think yeah he wasn't gigantic or anything yeah. but yeah just strolling along i eh? just yeah yeah mine it rained on the way in and then we had four great days yeah yeah oh really good yeah yeah i'm uh one thing I was, so uh, Naganosh and uh, Magnetowan are connected. Yes. And so while we were away, I was trying to decide which do I like more. Hard to say, hard to say. I think I did prefer Magnetowan. It's uh, at least where we were, the landscape, a lot more that boreal kind of rocky look yeah. that I really love. Um, but this was still like, it was so spectacular all up. Yeah, I mean, that one definitely more deciduous. Right. Plus, it was fall. Yeah, and more coniferous in Na Naganosh. Yeah. But they're, I'd have trouble picking which one I like better. Yeah, yeah, it's good. So yeah, so that's it. Hope you liked the video, and uh, if you haven't already subscribed, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I guess we're doing another trip in September. Yeah, and we're not gonna say where, but yeah, surprise. <laughs> yeah, good trip though. So. Yeah, stay tuned. Great. All right, thanks for watching.